whenever we were walking around, somebody came out of one of the little like bathroom buildings carrying an ass load of So I can't say like the biggest one I've ever seen because I mean it was, but like I've not seen but like a few. What happened? What's wrong with your foot? Something's wrong with Fanny's foot, she says. Good morning. So Fairby and I have a little bit of run around to do later on. It's pretty windy today and I kind of want to go to a park. So I don't know, I'm, she's outside right now, so I can say this freely without committing, but we might wait till tomorrow to go do something. It's not sustained winds, but it's pretty windy, and I think they said we might have like 20 or 25 mile an hour wind gust. I'm making my coffee, Farabee is on the porch right now, enjoying the partly cloudy day. I don't know, it's kind of, like I said, it's so windy, so it's like cloudy one minute and sunny one minute, and if she was still really into talking about weather like she was, this would be a really fun day for her. But she hasn't really been into talking about weather as much in maybe the last six months or so. So on today's agenda, I wanna show you a few things that I've really been loving. Like I said, we need to go get some groceries. I wanna go to a park. I need to show you my money tree update because we've had some changes, I feel like anyway. My orchid is blooming and it is so, so pretty. So I need to show y'all that too. I'm gonna let her sit out there for a minute on her own. And I feel really bad because I don't, I feel Kind of like absentee mother whenever she's out there alone. I'm gonna have my cliff bar really quick too. Actually, I probably can't eat this and talk to y'all, so I don't even know why I brought whatever. But anyway, that's what's for breakfast in a minute. <laughs> and I have my coffee. Last night we saw armadillo and I was like, oh my God, I've never seen an armadillo that close before. Seriously, I mean, I've, I have seen them, but never this close. We walked outside and it was, like in the bushes on our front porch area, if that makes sense. So it was like right there. And Farabee went straight to the bushes, but it had literally just started raining, like pouring, pouring rain, like big, big drops, like just out of nowhere. So a lot of times whenever it's like that, I tell, or all the time, I'm sorry, anytime it's like that, I tell Farabee to go pee in the bushes because like, you know, it's fine for that amount. Like it's not that big of a deal for her. It doesn't get rained on, that's why I'm saying that. So it's not that big of a deal for sometimes, but like it can't be always, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I just thought like she was just going over there to pee because it was raining so hard. And no, a freaking armadillo, like, I don't know how big they normally are. So I can't say like the biggest one I've ever seen. Cause I mean, it was, but like, I've not seen, but like a few. So it was a big ass armadillo though. And it just like scurried out of there and it shocked Farabee and I both so bad. Cause I mean, it was just so casual about it. Like, I mean, it, it was probably running for it, but you know what I mean? Like they're not fast, I guess. I'm not sure. But it was so chill. It like didn't do anything. It didn't make a sound. It just like walked away like as fast as it could, I guess. But we were both so shocked that we just stood there like stunned, like looking at it. And then whenever it had been maybe like two or three seconds and I don't know, fairy barked like this funny bark and also I don't know, she started moving again. It was so weird. We were like stunned, seriously. We were like shocked that we saw it. I hope we see it again. We added an armadillo button, but she hasn't used it, but we saw him, right? We see an armadillo last night? Remember that ball animal? We've seen him in the past and she called it a ball animal. And I didn't ever correct her because like, we don't have an armadillo button until last night. And there kind of wasn't a reason for me to add one. So armadillos are not supposed to be up here. And that's why I didn't even think we need an armadillo button. We have seen two armadillos prior to this time. And I feel like the last one that we saw, it honestly may have been in the fall. It may not have been that long ago. So anyway, because we saw one up close. I mean, it was right here. It was within five feet of us, like easy, easy. Like we could have just freaking touched it. Like, I mean, I could have picked it up because apparently they're not quick. I would not do that by the way. I'm just saying that's how close it was. So that's why I added an armadillo button because it was so close. I felt like it might be a big deal she wanted to talk about. So we added that, but I don't know if it'll stick. So anyways, we are gonna go get a little bit of something done. What do you wanna do? Yes. 
happen? Are you okay? Oh no. Here, let me see your foot. Are you okay? I thought Fairby acted like her foot was weird. Are you okay? Stand up. What's wrong? Are you okay? Come here. <gasps> What's wrong with your foot? Something's wrong with Fairby's foot, she says. There's something on her toes. Okay, there's something on her toes. Okay. I've checked in between all her paw pads. Checked each fingernail to make sure nobody's broken. Oh, this side. My little precious baby. We don't have anything we have to do pressing anyway, so we can just sit here and get better, huh? I have a light so I can actually show you the color of it, but it's doing so much better. And look, those baby leaves are like full grown leaves now because this was a baby leaf and this one right here was baby leaf. So I got these self tanning drops recently and I love them. I feel like they work so good. It doesn't have any tint to it. So there's no like staining of your pillow or anything like that or your clothes. So all you do, you just mix this with your like lotion that you already like, and then this makes it a self tanner. So I feel like it's a nice color on me. I have it on, I applied it last night. And like I said, this is the dark or whatever, whatever when I said, and it was a pretty decent price too. I have it linked in my Amazon store. off of her to go out because I thought it was warmer, but it's actually not super warm. So I think I'm gonna put her shirt back on her. Her foot is fine, by the way. She woke up from her nap and she didn't act like anything at all was going on. I'm gonna take this to her. She's out in the Oh, you want that? You want my iPod? You can't have my iPod. Listen to music. Oh, you want to listen to music too? Sure, we can turn your music on too. I had my headphones on with music on because she doesn't like the same things as I like. And I think she knows I'm listening to music without her. So she's like, I want it too. I need to cook for Farabee like, well, after we, okay. I need a few things at the store so that I can cook for Farabee. But I went ahead and put the turkey that I had bought last time in the fridge so it can defrost. And that way, today we're gonna wrap up the pack of venison, just food for dogs for her because we have that open. So I think we have like today and tomorrow left of it. So hopefully we'll go to the store. I don't think we're gonna go today. I think it's gonna be tomorrow now. And I'll just plan to cook whenever we get home. And that way we can have everything made. Farabee has been calling her kibble potty for a while, so we are gonna try this. So Farabee doesn't eat the same thing over and over for the most part. I've always kept her kibble that she had as a baby as just a staple, but um, like I said, she's not been loving it, but I still wanna keep a kibble in her rotation because I just think it's nice to have something that's less expensive in her rotation and also shelf stable. But I also cook for her, as y'all know, and I also give her freeze dried raw and like I buy pre-cooked food for her, like um, like the Just Food for Dogs and Nom Nom. And we've got Honest Kitchen, their little box uh, wet food before too. So I kind of like to keep a big variety for her. 
I think it's also nice because that way if somebody has a recall, like we're not gonna get stuck, like having to face something out, like she just doesn't eat it anymore. I typically keep four to six different types of food on hand for her and we rotate through those every day. She usually gets three different types of food every day and then we just rotate, you know, which thing. So I'm excited that we have a different kibble. I'm also excited about this because I can get it on Amazon and at the uh, farmer's market that we go to. So that makes me really happy. I'll link it. I do have, I have all of our foods yeah, I literally have every food that we use linked in our Amazon store now, except for stuff that I make her, and I have recipes on my website for that. But I have everything on there now, so, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not brand loyal. I think I've said that to y'all probably a thousand times. <laughs> But I'm not at all brand loyal to dog food. I look at it the same way that I look at my food. Like I'm not gonna only eat Cliff Bar, even though I love Cliff Bar and I eat a Cliff Bar every day and have for a long time. That's not gonna be the only thing I eat. You know what I mean? I'm not having that for all meals and snacks. You know what I'm saying? So kind of the way I look at it with therapy. She can have a variety. We can have a thing that's kind of a staple that she likes every day, but it doesn't need to be like the only thing she eats. So that. But anyways, so I'll show y'all, I don't know if, I mean, I've shown y'all her food whenever I've cooked it a million times, so I don't know that I really need to show it to you whenever I cook it, but um, I will link the video where I talked about making it and the recipe that I kind of go by and stuff for y'all below. We'll catch up with y'all in the morning. Like I said, I totally now, cause her foot, she acted like her foot was hurt. Y'all saw what happened. And it's windy too. So I think tomorrow's gonna be a better park day too. So we'll go do all that tomorrow and bring you with us. Good morning. So Faraby and I are getting ready to go. We're gonna go to a park really quick. Um, we do have a few things we need to get at a store too, but to be really, really honest, I'm not quite sure that I wanna go to the store. So, so we may not go to a store. I don't know. We're going to a park that you're not really supposed to have dogs at. So I'm putting her service dog wrap on her leash that we're gonna use. There have been some incidences at parks where I feel like there's like nobody there and it makes me feel really self-conscious. It just makes me feel like I could potentially have something bad happen. You know what I mean? So now because of that, that's happened a few times where we've been like the only person. And then another thing that happened one time, this is several months ago, I didn't say anything. This is back whenever it was still like warm out. We were at one park and there was like nobody there, no cars, no nothing. Whenever we were walking around, somebody came out of one of the little like bathroom buildings carrying an ass load of stuff which is no shame like i understand sometimes people are unhoused or something but the thing is as a woman alone for that to be a surprise that you find after you've been walking around for like 30 minutes is very unsettling so we haven't been back to any parks that have seemed like there weren't people there since so we haven't been going to that one because of that scary thing and then our car battery died while we were at a park one time also no people there so now i'm like okay well i want to go to parks where there's only people right but the parks where there's people, two problems with this. Number one, a lot of them are like not, even though they're dog friendly and like you can bring your dog, like a lot of them are more rec center type thing. So where it's just kind of like awkward. You know what I mean? Like there's balls and frisbees and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. It's just like very tempting for her and like mean because she can't do it. So anyway, we're going to one that we haven't been to in a while. Faraby's way excited. <laughs> so cold but we had fun the, I didn't know it was this windy it's like really really windier than I thought it was and so that just kind of I don't know I felt like we were walking against like gale force winds here for a while home I am freezing cold I changed clothes well I took my hoodie off because it was just like strangling me but I'm freezing still and look how red my nose is it's it's so cold that I kept having to like wipe my like 
things were draining. We ended up going to a park that I really like a lot and then we went to the grocery store. But then on the way home, this is what I was so excited about. On the way home, we saw something that I thought looked like a new park. And so it was on the way home, like I said. So we came home, dropped the groceries off and went back. Oh my gosh, we have a whole new little walking trail. It's not really a park, but it's a walking trail. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We really enjoyed spending time with you. I hope you enjoyed spending time with us and we will see you next week. Bye.